It might be the middle of the final March Madness game right now, but that doesn't stop the MLB from having trades, as the Tampa Bay Rays have just completed a trade with the Detroit Tig Tigers, as first reported by Tampa Bay Times, Jeff Passan, and others, as Austin Meadows is going to be going to the Detroit Tigers for shortstop prospect Isaac Paredes and a draft pick. That draft pick is going to be in the late 60s in the upcoming draft, and I believe that's how you say Paredes' name, but he's going to be a shortstop prospect that is headed to Tampa, and there's a lot to unpack with this trade. First of all, the Rays keep doing what the Rays do. They make very weird trades that a lot of times at the time, people don't really know what their thought process is behind it, but the Rays see things in people. They think they can tap into some potential that no one else can. They think maybe they see Paredes and see a future star. Who knows what the Rays are thinking, but they've made a lot of trades like these before where there are questions off the bat, but then turned out to be very good trades where they're getting very quality players back so let me know what you guys think about this tigers fans rays fans all mlb fans as a whole what do you think about this so for the tigers they're going to be getting austin meadows and they'll have three seasons of control with him he's 26 years old now so three more years of control before he hits free agency and isaac paredes the 23 year old shortstop prospect that's going back to the rays plays all three infield positions third base shortstop second base and the draft pick will come in the late 60s so that is the full trade and the Rays they've been considering moving Austin Meadows for a bit now it was a kind of a rumor at the start of this offseason first it was the Kevin Kiermeyer trade rumors then the Austin Meadows ones and we didn't really hear this trade heat up it kind of just came out of nowhere as boom Austin Meadows was a Ray one second and he was a Tiger the next so let me know what you guys think the Rays they definitely lost a little bit major league talent wise now but maybe they see something in Paredes that no one else does because they've done plenty of that stuff in their recent future. And then for the Tigers, they're trying to compete now, so good for them. They're going to be getting Austin Meadows, who is a player that will help them get better right now. There's no question the Tigers just got better. Austin Meadows, a very solid player to go into your lineup. They have lots of young guys that look for a very bright future, and they have some vets now. Jonathan Scope, Robbie Grossman, Austin Meadows, he's just 26, but he has some experience. So let me know what you guys think about the Tigers going into to this year should be a fun team now for the second part of this video the next thing that has been coming out is about Aaron Judge and a possible extension today when the Yankees were playing Carlos Beltran he confused a lot of fans by pretty much implying that the Yankees and Aaron Judge had an extension already done but that is not true besides what people might have thought about that he turns out he accidentally said that and he just said he hopes the Yankees sign him to an extension but according to Ken Rosenthal in the athletic the Yankees and Aaron Judge who see opening day as a possible deadline for an extension are not close on extension talks right now it seems like they there's been some offers on the table including offers over 30 million per year but it's going to be an interesting situation because Judge he's not as young as some of these impending free agents he's not still in his mid-20s and for him he's going to want a bunch of years he might want a six or seven year contract when the Yankees may be willing to only go five or six or something like that there's a lot of places where there can be disagreements on whether it's an extra year or two or a certain dollar figure because if you're paying Aaron Judge say a seven year deal all the way up to his age 38 season or something like that for an example and you're still paying him a very high figure that could come to hurt them if he's obviously not the superstar that he is right now let me know what you guys think do you think Aaron Judge and the Yankees will be able to get an extension done Aaron Judge as said earlier in the offseason it seems like he'd be comfortable if he had to pick somewhere else to play but obviously Yankees fans and Aaron Judge wouldn't mind getting the big extension done and keeping that partnership going let me know what you guys think about the Austin Meadows trade and Aaron Judge and the Yankees on extension talks